Hi, my name is Bente, I'm the Nora's Witch and guess what we will do today? We will unbox another Witch's Moon subscription box. This time it's the July box. And yeah, I am as always very excited. Another box, another adventure, a lot of excitement because I never know what's in these boxes. It's a surprise to me just as it is for you. And as always a little disclaimer, I am not getting paid to do these unboxings and these reviews. I'm only getting these boxes as a gift from the Witch's Moon, so thank you so, so much. But yeah, I'm only getting these boxes. I'm not getting paid to do these videos, so everything that I'm saying in these videos is my honest opinion. Should there be anything in this box that I don't like, then I would tell you. Um, if you are interested in getting some of these boxes, these are subscription boxes, you get them every month, but you can also get older boxes separately. Um, but then it won't be as much of a surprise because you already know what's in there. So if you want the surprise, then get the monthly subscription box and then you will get one of these amazing boxes every single month. The link to the Witch's Moon's shop is in the video description as always. So I guess let's unpack. Alrighty, let's go. Let's unpack this. Alright, we have another oracle or tarot card. Tackle adversity head on. A path with no bend is boring. Yeah, that's... I'm feeling this at the moment. I feel like I am tackling a lot of adversity at the moment. Alright. Here's the contents of the box, which I will ignore for now because I don't want to be spoiled about what's in there. We have a harvest prayer, okay, and spirits of the harvest. Ooh, this seems to be a harvest box. That is so cool. We have a harvest prayer. Through thick and thin and back again, I offer up this prayer for spirits of the harvest grains, my solemn efforts bear. Mm -hmm. And spirits of the harvest. These will go straight into my grimoire. Oh, the corn dolly. I've actually never made a corn dolly, so maybe this will... Maybe this will inspire me to make one, finally. <laughs> I always, uh, I just love these. They are so pretty. I mean, look at this. So pretty. All right. And I see, what do I see? A bag, a big bag. This is a huge bag. What's in this? Huge bag. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> Something in this box smells very good. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, this is so cute. There is an actual corn dolly in there. Oh. <laughs> this is so cute. How friggin' cute is this corn dolly? Oh God, that's so pretty. I will so give this to Sif as an offering. I was thinking about giving an offering to Sif this autumn either way, so this is so pretty. Oh God, I hope my cats won't get to it and destroy it. All right, but there is another thing in the little baggie, something heavy. Oh no, one of my cats spotted the corn dolly. No, Juno, this is not for playing. Ah, okay, so this is a stand for the corn dolly. So cute. I am in love. For some reason, that's like maybe the, my favorite thing that I've ever gotten in these boxes. I don't know, because this is so cute and so perfect, because as I said, I wanted to give an offering to Sif either way. So that is friggin' perfect. 
All right, what else do we have? I have a little bag. Oh, this looks like another little tea bag. So I guess there is some tea in this harvest box, which of course makes a lot of sense. Where's the tea? There is this. Oh yeah. <gasps> Ooh, harvest chai. I friggin' love chai tea. Oh, I have to sniff this. Oh, I actually haven't had breakfast yet, so this will definitely be my breakfast today. And we have a little cat visitor. Oh, this smells amazing. This will definitely be my breakfast. What do you think? Oh, we have two cats. <laughs> Hi. Do you want to help me unpack? They probably want the worms. Here. Here, take some worms. <laughs> All right. We also have garden sage, which is great. You can never have too much garden sage. This is awesome. Ah, we have a candle, as always. Let me quickly unpack this. Ooh, it's orange, yellowy, and it has some herbs in it. I see that. Mm, does it smell? Not a lot, a little bit. Great. Oh, this brings me, I mean, it still very much feels like summer around here, but this kind of brings me into very much of a fall mood. <laughs> and I'm kind of excited for it, I don't know why. I'm such a summer person, but... All right, what's that? What is that? That isn't amber. That's too heavy for amber. What are you? I don't know, we will see later on. I mean, it looks a little bit like amber, but it doesn't feel like amber. But if it is amber, I would be excited because I love amber. Alrighty, we have Lama's Blessings. Wow, what was that? Lama's Blessings. Ritual Herbal Blend. Let me smell it. Maybe I can guess what herbs are in there. I think there's rosemary, maybe? I don't know, I can't guess it, but it smells a lot like Italian seasoning. So <laughs> that makes me think of thyme and, uh, and rosemary. Oh, is that a huge oil? Is that a huge oil? Please be a huge oil. Because I love oils. Oh no, oh no, it's a spray. Oh, it's a spray. Ritual Aura Spray, Golden Harvest. That looks very, very pretty and I hope that it is also very, very... Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, that smells so great. Awesome. I'm excited for that. I love oils and sprays so much. I use them all the time. Bloop. All right, I think this is the last thing. Bloop. Oh no, no, stay with me. Yes, this is the last thing. Let me quickly get this box out of the way so everything else doesn't fall. All righty. So, this lastly is Fruits of Labor Sacred Salt. Fruits of Labor, that is very, very harvesty. Let's smell the salt too. All right, sorry, my cat came and wanted to play and basically knocked everything <laughs> off my chair. All right. Ooh. Oh, and now she's angry. I don't know if you heard that. Um, Ah, I see lavender in this salt, but also something else, which I can't spot, but it smells great. I love this. All right, 
So this was all that was in the box. So um, let me quickly look at the contents and then I will tell you in detail what was in the box. All right, in the box is first of all, of course, the corn dolly, which is just too cute. Like this, this is so cute. Oh, I can't get over how cute this corn dolly is. I'm so excited. I'm far too excited about this corn dolly. Um, all right. Apart from that, we have, of course, like the artwork and stuff, which I already showed you. We have the spell candle, this one, which is for the purpose of enhancing the energies of gratitude that surround you during your seasonal celebrations. And the candle has been anointed with clove, ginger and anise oil and peppermint was rolled into this candle. Awesome. Then uh, I already, like I finally know what this is. I was right, this is not amber. This is actually rough carnelian. I've never seen rough carnelian, but this also makes much more sense than amber. So this is great. I've never seen rough carnelian. Awesome. We have incense sticks, which I actually totally missed because they were at the edge of the box, so I didn't see them. But of course we have incense sticks, Olibans Smoke Ritual Incense Sticks. These promote healing and protection, which actually the healing part is great because I'm injured at the moment, so I could uh, use some healing. Uh, yep, yep. Then we have uh, the Sacred Salt, the Fruits of Labor Sacred Salt. This is made to bring a deep sense of relaxation and closure, which is great and makes of course a lot of sense with the theme of harvests. Um, the Ritual Incense Blend. I wasn't too wrong because in this incense, incense blend is oak, parsley and thyme. So parsley and thyme are seasonings, so I wasn't too wrong with this. Um, of course we have the Garden Sage. The tea, which I am extremely excited about to drink like in 10 minutes. <laughs> and uh, we have the Golden Harvest Ritual Aura Spray. This was created to enhance the energies of victory and gratitude in your sacred space. As you spray around yourself, visualize a golden orb growing around you, sparkling and glowing as it becomes larger. I am very, very excited about about this box, let me quickly show you everything in detail. Alrighty, this is what we got. The Lammas Blessings Herbal Blend. We have the Incense Sticks. The Personalized Oracle Reading. We have a wonderful Spell Candle. The Chai Tea. Sorry, the chai tea with the little tea bag, which I always love, they're so cute. The fruits of labor, sacred salt. Then we have some garden sage. The golden harvest aura spray. A rough piece of carnelian. Then we have the corn dolly artwork. Spirits of the Harvest artwork. Then we have a Harvest Prayer artwork. And of course, the most important part, we have the Corn Dolly, which is so cute, look at it. I can't get over how cute this Corn Dolly is, I'm sorry. All right, and that was the box for July. I am, honestly, I'm obsessed. I'm very, very excited about this box. I'm still very much in a summer mood, but this kind of sparked the first little bits of fall excitement for me and harvest time excitement, especially the corn dolly. I'm obsessed with this corn dolly and I don't know why, but I love it so much and I will definitely give it to Sif as an offering and I'm so excited for that. <laughs> but as always, of course, I will never forget that. Patron shout out. Thank you so, so much to Kelly, Lisa, Brittany, Emrys, Celine, Smolketa, Josh, Virginie, Joseph, Elinora, David, Kristeny, Rixie Business, Valu, Annalena, Ashley, Glacier, Anna, Laura, Kristen, John, Phoenix, Anton, Jenny, Maggie, Misty, Amy, Colette, Timothy, 
Coffee or the honorary Gossip Squirrel. And last but definitely not least, Bjorn. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, it means the world to me that you are actually financially supporting me. That's still a little bit crazy to me. So thank you so, so much. As always, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it entertained you and you got excited about the next <laughs> Witches Moon boxes. If you did like the video, then make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up. And of course, ring the bell down below so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. You can of course check out all of my socials and my own witchcraft shop for ethically and sustainably sourced witchcraft and paganism tools. And uh, if in case you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!